Hey guys, welcome to this video. In this video, I'll be taking a look at uh, Kaspersky Rescue Disk 10 and seeing how capable it is of removing malware from the machine that won't boot. Now, I've got a machine here that's not booting, and I want to see um, how how good it is at removing malware from a system. Well, I know how good it is at removing malware from a system because I use it all the time, and I think uh, it's one of the best ones out there uh, at the moment as well. It's one of the few that you can actually up update from this environment. So we're going to go into graphics mode there and uh, let this load up. It does take a bit of time to load up. Once it's loaded up, we'll do a quick update and then start running some cleaning processes to get rid of some of the malware on the system. So we can then boot the system up and then run some scans from the desktop. So I should let this load in. Okay, so it's just loading this last little bit in now. It shouldn't take too long from here. It's just going through its checks. As I said, this uh, piece of software is a free piece of software. I will give you the link uh, in the description on the video. I've used this uh, in a video before, but this is a new version. And uh, as I said, one of the most uh, important parts is that you can actually update and get the latest definition so you can actually clean off some of the latest viruses and malware and trojans from the system. Okay, so what we're going to do now is just uh, push A to accept the license agreement. It's just going to mount the disks. So the first thing we'll do once this is done is do an update and then we'll run the scan. So it's already picking up threats already. So what we're going to do is go to the update. It says it's up to date and that's because I run an update earlier. It will say here if it's out of date, it'll say out of date. So you just need to make sure that when you're doing updates that you do one straight away. Okay, so it's now done the update 100%. wait for it to complete and then we can uh, start our scan okay so here we have the uh, update completed. So I'm just going to run a scan. I'm not going to bother doing this one. I just want to do these ones here and then start scan. So let me just resume this scan. I did start a scan earlier on and stopped it. Hopefully we can uh, carry on where we left off. Okay, so we've got. Uh, I'm going to delete this one.
going to delete that one and this one just going to keep going through these Got Trojan there so I'm saying quarantine it say latine that's pretty nasty okay so I'm going to skip this one okay that's now saying it's completed okay when you do it you'll have to obviously start the scan off it did take some time so I started it off last night and then paused it and carried on this morning so I'm just going to uh, exit this now and see how we fare see if we can boot it up okay so we'll start to see if we can boot up now on the system now this system wasn't booting at all too much infections on it so hopefully Kaspersky's done a good job at removing those allowing us to get to the desktop so we can then do some more scans from the desktop and Kaspersky's a very powerful tool and it's good to have in your CD wallet when you're out about so let's just uh, run Malwarebytes now okay so that's uh, Malwarebytes started up there so what I'm going to do first is update Malwarebytes now I know that Salit is very difficult to remove and same as Virat what we'll do is uh, give this a quick scan so I'll do a quick scan first to lighten the load a little bit and then we'll do a quick a full scan after that so I'll let this do its job first and see what's left behind okay so that's the uh, scan now finished let's have a little look at what we found okay you can see a few bits and pieces here files it's found there and also uh, this peculiar file fake alert registry keys okay, so what we do now is okay we've got a fake antivirus there so I'm going to remove these and we'll restart now okay so I'll just run a quick test there with Rogue killer and we can see GXD is still there it's in this place here it's been deregistered so what I'll do now is I'll quickly do a quick scan with uh, Super Anti Spyware I'll just start this up and give this a quick scan check for updates now I did only a quick scan with uh, that last one so I'm going to do a full scan with Super Anti Spyware and then I'll do another full scan with Malwarebytes ok so I've got me uh, scans going on here I've got me Malwarebytes still running full complete scan and I've also got Super Anti Spyware just doing a scan at the moment these are just cookies 
and I'm just going to do a quick full online scan with Bitdefender. Okay, this is a free scan you can use online and it will scan your system. So once this is done, we, if we get the hall clear then we know the system's back up and running and it's clean. So we've gone from a non-bootable machine to a pretty uh, usable machine at the moment. As you can see it's coming up pretty clean and it's saying my computer is not infected which is good. So you can come to the online websites like uh, Kaspersky uh, which will do a scan, ESET and uh, also Bitdefender and stuff like that which will actually give you a, a good full scan. So once these come up with their full full complete scans completely clean then I know the system's back up and running and safe. Okay so let's just let these run and I'll show you the results when they're finished. What I'll do while they're scanning is have a little look at Process Explorer see if there's anything running there. There shouldn't be. Now because I've seen nasty viruses on here like Sailor T and stuff like that, what I would do is I would run root repeal and uh, rootkit test, something like that, to see if there's anything on here, any rootkits or anything like that. But I'm pretty safe that malware has all been removed, but it's always best to be 100% sure. Use many different varieties of software, don't just stick to one piece of software and expect it to be clean after you've done that. What I would do after I've done this is check here, make sure there's nothing running, run a, a rootkit tester unless you're running 64-bit which in that case you wouldn't have to do it and then after that I would wipe out all my um, system restore points make sure they're all cleaned and then uh, basically run a C cleaner or something of that nature to clean off all the temp files and anything like that and then you should be good to go really So I'd have a good look here and find out what's going on. These are only done. These, this is looking good to me really. Uh, only seeing cookies here I'm not too worried about. So I'm pretty uh, sure that it's going to come up pretty clean. Okay so that's the uh, malware bytes now finished as you can see. It's come back clean which is good news. So it just goes to show you with a bit of uh, knowledge and free software we've got this PC from virtually not well non-booting to working pretty smoothly and uh, I'll do some more checks on it but as you can see you don't need to format straight away just be patient use the right software and uh, you should be able to get back up and running and pretty much I'm sure this is going to come back clean it would have shown up stuff already by now um, but I'll let it run and I think that'll be enough for this video I'm afraid so anyway I hope you enjoyed these videos if you do remember hit the subscribe button guys show your support and uh, if you want to see more videos like this then uh, send me a message what you want to see and I'll do my best to make them for you if you're sick of seeing these type of videos then give me some suggestions of what you do want to see uh, bear in mind the amount of time that I've got okay so thanks again bye for now